Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Art Desert, and today's video is going to be a chill sketch with me. First of all, I know it's been a long time since my last video, um, but now, at least for this video, I'm back. Um, I will try to be consistent, and I know, even after saying this, I won't be consistent. But yeah, at least you get to watch this video. You must be wondering like bro why are you starting the video with a half done sketch already um, but let me tell you guys this video faced a ton of technical difficulties oh my god that sounds so fancy saying but anyways yeah I faced a ton of difficulties filming and editing this video um, because I don't know iPhone is hard and also because I'm rusty in terms of both drawing and filming right now um, because it's been so long so yeah uh, drawing on camera is nerve-wracking Now that I'm already halfway through the sketch, um, let's talk about it, even though I can't think about anything to talk about the sketch. But anyways, uh, this was the reference I used. I really wanted to capture the coolness of the pose, so that's why I did the first sketch, but I didn't really like it, so I erased it lightly and I'm doing another sketch on top of it. The boots in the reference were made out of leather, I think so, um, but I didn't really know how to get that leather type shine. Um, I tried, but I know it isn't really the best, uh, and I was hoping for it to be a little bit better, but it is what it is. I saw this technique on YouTube where the person was using their paintbrush to blend the graphite from the pencil and I was like I should give this a try and was skeptical about it like this isn't going to work but yeah it does its job and I'm glad I tried it out. Now I'm moving on to the second sketch. Um, this is the reference I used uh, and it's Unche of La Seraphim. Sounds so fancy once again and I don't know if I pronounced it right or not but La Seraphim it is. Um, yeah, this is Unche. Doesn't look anything like her um, but yeah, I really like how it turned out in the end though. This time I decided to draw the face off camera because god, it took me so many tries. I messed up again and again, um, yeah, so I, I basically saved you from watching the clips of me erasing and drawing over and over again. Oh, 
obviously the hardest part of drawing for me is definitely the hands and i'm sure most of you guys will be able to relate with this too um and if you can't bro you must be an art god because how does one draw hands so easily and they turn out to be so pretty but there are times where they unexpectedly turn out to be good and i'm like wow i did that Time to move on to the third sketch of this video. Um, this one is a simple front face view with his head tilted. Um, I wanted to keep it simple because uh, I had planned the layout and there was this awkward space in the middle. So I wanted to do something small and simple to fill that space in. Uh, so yeah. This was the reference picture I used for this drawing. It isn't necessarily the most difficult and time taking uh, drawing to do. Um, but still, I liked how simple and cute it looked uh, and also it did its job at filling the page and it does look pretty. It's now time to move on to the last sketch of today's video. Um, this one is a sitting pose and here's the reference. Uh, I really enjoyed drawing this pose. I thought it would be very hard but it was surprisingly very easy and it even took me less time than the standing one, the, the drawing, the pose which is uh, the first one which is the standing pose. Yeah, it took me much longer than the standing pose and I was surprised. But yeah. It's my favorite chiffon dress. I don't care today what the neighbors might say. Put on my rain boots, my favorite chiffon dress. I don't care today what the neighbors might say. Cause I could stay inside and type away inside. Oh, make a today just a little less mundane. Oh. Stay inside and type away Sayo take today oh, this Bro, I recorded this like 10 times but I failed So yeah, giving this a final try Anyways, this was my first time trying out how to draw coily hair or curly hair And it was even harder because the curls were extremely tight and small So I didn't really know how to begin with drawing them so I had to look up tutorials on YouTube but they didn't work out for me or maybe I was just impatient. So I just went with my guts and I think they turned out to be fine but obviously because it's my first time I will need your guys' feedback and if you have drawn curly hair let me know if they are fine. Uh, yeah.
I'm now done with all four of the drawings and it's time to move on to the background. For the background, I didn't really do anything too difficult. Um, I wanted to keep it simple because I'm a simple guy and I was tired of filming this for three continuous days so I just wanted to finish it today. Um, yeah, I mapped out four different squares using my ruler and I filled it in using my purple pastel highlighter and yeah, that's basically it for the background. And that is it for today's video, I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel, oh my god this feels so weird thing but anyways if you liked make sure you subscribe to my channel and also coming back to youtube it made me realize that how painful and mind scratching filming and editing is but also at the same time it is definitely fun, uh, yeah. And now, I'll see you guys in my next one. Until then, goodbye! <laughs>